Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and all the time we get asked if we can integrate solar power into our systems. And the great answer is that we can. So today we're out at one of our projects, uh, which is finished, and we have solar power integrated into our hydronic heating and cooling system. What's happening here is that when the sun's shining, obviously, there's solar power being generated and it's being converted from DC to AC. And here we've got an AC heat pump and the heat pump converts every one kilowatt of electrical uh, power into three kilowatts of uh, heat. And at this one, because we have a heat recovery uh, heat pump at this particular project. So we generate both three kilowatts of heat and three kilowatts of chill at, uh, from that one kilowatt of power. So amazing efficiency. But what you really need to consider with these uh, solar power systems is that you are generating this electricity, which is great, but it's only great if you can either instantly use it or store it. And why I say that is because uh, you are paying from the grid, you're paying approximately 26 cents per kilowatt. And when you're selling power back to the grid, you're only selling it back for about seven cents. So there's a huge difference uh, in between what you're paying for power and what you get paid for power when you sell it back. So it's in your best interest to either store the power you generate, uh, either in electricity or in things like hot water or cold water or within the building itself, or store it within a battery, or to instantaneously, instantaneously use it. So at this particular project, we are doing a couple of these. At the moment, there is no battery system here, but we are uh, always monitoring how much PV electricity is being produced at any time. And if uh, we're producing too much and we're, it's being sent back to the grid, instead of doing that, we sense that and we might, for example, in summer, we might pre-cool the house. So the house is already at a nice temperature, but we might pre-cool it by another one degree lower just because we've got that, that free energy and we might as well use it um, and pre-cool the house a little bit so we don't have to do that extra bit of cooling later on, perhaps when the sun isn't shining. Or instead of sending power back to the grid, we might heat the pool or heat the hot water tank, uh, you know, for the tap hot water. The most important thing is to actually know what's happening with your power at any time and be able to either use it or store it because sending it back to the grid, uh, it, you get a very small return for it. So as always, if you'd like some help with uh, integrating solar power into your heating or cooling system into your building, give us a call at Euroheat for a quick chat. Uh, we'd love to help you out with really effectively using your power generated either by storing it in uh, batteries or in your house or in uh, cold or hot water tanks for use at later time and integrating that with a system which will keep your uh, building services running really well. Mm -hmm.